There are many published authors in the world, but not many are under the age of 30 and live in northern Minnesota. Julia Lee may be a young author, but her soon-to-be published novel shows evidence of wisdom beyond her years. For this week's In Focus, Catherine Silver spoke to the author one-on-one -on -one to find out how her novel, Seven Stones, uses culture to make connections. A typical morning for Julia Lee starts with breakfast and a cup of tea. But Julia Lee isn't a typical person. At the age of 26, she's already written her own 230-page book. I started writing when I was five years old, writing little stories, and it just kind of continued. It's safe to say that even at a young age, Lee has been around the block, and now her first book is being published. It's something I want to do when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed at night. And It's such a passion, and to have actually my passion become this physical thing that other people are going to read and hopefully enjoy and take something away from is unbelievable. Quite simply, her book Seven Stones is a coming of age story about a young girl who moved to Scotland with her family. This is the book. But there's a slight twist. Originally the story was just going to be about a girl in Scotland and the Celtic culture and mythology. And then when I moved up here to northern Minnesota, I learned all about Ojibwe culture. Lee dives into her Celtic heritage for inspiration to tell everyday stories. So this is my clan crest. I come from the Bruce clan. But uses and, Ojibwe uh, influence to send a message about cultural connection. If you look at it, like especially on a map, they're way far away. They seem like two totally different cultures that don't have anything in common really. And as you look closer, not only like historically, but they have a lot of similar elements in mythology. I think that's really cool. I thought that's really, really interesting. Someone should write a book about that. And so I was like, I'm going to write a book about that. Lee did just that, but the process wasn't as easy as it seems. The publishing world can be competitive, but like her female protagonist, her novel has helped her find her own voice. Well, writing can be inspired by almost anything, lots of things. If I'm stuck for ideas, I like to do something physical usually to get the creativity flowing. To get her creativity flowing, Lee turns to yoga or nature. There's a lot of natural beauty up here and I've always loved being in nature so being able to be a part of the North Woods and get the feel for that culture and what makes that culture so special it really has inspired my book in a lot of ways. But now that her book is finished, she hopes to inspire others by using her story to write from a human perspective, not a white or native one. It all weaves together and hopefully a story um, that leaves the reader with a sense of no matter who you are or what language you speak, we're all the same people going through the same experiences. And in the novel, those same experiences may be shared mainly through the power of dreams. But in real life, it's the celebration of culture and her words in print that are the real dreams. That this is my dream and I, I love every second of it. For this week's In Focus, Katherine Silver, Lakeland News. Seven Stones is expected to be released on March 21st. To learn more about the author or the book, visit www.julialeebooks.com. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.